Hi guys, my name is Nick and welcome to my channel. I hope I have an intro soon. This is, I'm so new to YouTube right now. Anyways, I just wanted to share with you my nighttime skincare routine and it, I really um, got involved into like 12 step Korean skincare. Mine's probably not 12 anymore, but this is now my uh, version of my nighttime skincare. And um, usually, I start off with this one. This is like um, a cleansing balm to melt away any um, makeup or, and it's really awesome. Barely anything there anymore. But um, it melts away the makeup. It, it's a balm you put on your hands and then you rub over all over your face and it melts away the makeup. Even if I didn't have makeup, but I usually put on some sunblock during the day. So after that, before I go to bed, after I shower, I have to like really cleanse my face. I don't want the sunblock staying and blocking my pores. So I use this, cleans it off real well. You wash it off, um, rinse it, and then I, clean, I, I still use a cleansing foam. Um, sometimes I use a little Foreo um, deep cleanser or the Clarisonic one, it's a deep cleanser. Every once in a while I use that. But um, when I'm really, really lazy, I just use this, wash my face. Once or twice a week, I do exfoliate. And after I dry off my face, this, uh, I don't know how to say it, Bosha. This Bosha one, you have to use it on dry face and then it kind of rubs off the dry, you know, dead skin cells from your face. So this is really effective. But if I don't use this and I just wash with this, the next step is a toner. Always, always have a toner. You always have to use a toner to um, uh, restore the pH balance on your skin, especially after like a cleansing foam or a cleansing soap. Uh, not a bar soap, never a bar soap. But after a cleansing foam, uh, a cleanser, you have to have a toner to set your pH um, the pH balance, the restore the pH balance of your face. So anyways, so this is what I've been using lately. It's from Fresh. It's called the Black Tea Kom Kombucha Facial Treatment es Essence Anti-Pollution Age Delay. Yeah, it's really long, but this is what I've been using lately. Usually before, when I, about two years ago, I would use like three different toners that I would, you know, layer on my face. Um, but now I just use this and then uh, maybe and another toner just to shorten it up because it's my routine has I have to make it concise because I have so much things to do and so I use a little cotton pad like this I just wipe from the inside to the outside around the little corners make sure you get the whole face then the forehead you can say hi Reina Hello. <laughs> I don't think they can hear me they can hear you oh. we're back again <laughs> and sometimes I still do the, the neck part of it too how does it feel so that I don't waste it it feels good really it's like I'm getting cleansed. I'm not wearing my glass right now, so I can't really see. And then my skincare routine depends on my skincare needs for the day or for the night. Sometimes I want, if my uh, dark spots, my sunspots are very um, uh, dominant, like you could totally see it, I would use like a brightening skincare line. But right now I feel so dry. There was, it was pretty windy, like the Santa Ana winds um, today was making me dry so I want a moisturizing one so this is one of my favorites it's a Laneige or Laneige essential power skin toner for normal to dry skin I'm usually a normal to dry skin type of person so I put some on my palm like this rub it and then yeah. when you rub it between your hands it warms up your hands so when you put it on your face you know, when it's warm, opens your pores up, it gets more absorbed. Um, 
effectively. Then whatever's left over, I always put on my neck. And I did a collage. <laughs> anyway, and then I let it dry. And then the next thing, sometimes you, I would use some treatments or serums. And one of my favorite one is this Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair. It's a good, um, I'm already in my 40s, so it's a good anti-aging um, serum that I use for myself. I just want to make sure this is all dried up. You put just a little, you don't need a little, I mean, you don't need a lot. This is a serum, helps with, um, then you rub it on your face. Yeah, you, ha you pat it, you never rub your face, you pat it. Oops, don't waste it. And then you just kind of pat it like this. I just put it all over my face. Sometimes some, some people say, I don't, don't put it under your eye, but I really have a really bad uh, under eye circle and you know, as I age, it's getting a little saggier. Plus, uh, when I wear my glasses, it just kind of pulls it down and sags it even more, the bags, so. And for that, while we're on that topic, I do have an eye cream. It's called the Belief Moisturizing Eye Balm. Oh, this is one of the best. I've tried a lot of eye creams before. One of the ones um, that I use a lot during the day is the avocado one from Kiehl's. But this is my favorite one, especially in that time. It's very cooling and refreshing. Um, and I feel like it makes a difference, especially if you're like consistent with it. So I put it here. Just put it. Use your ring finger because it's the lightest touch, they say. And then I just pat it until it's gone. I'm not wearing my glasses, so I can't really see it. I don't want to be too close to the camera, then you see all of the <laughs> things I'm trying to hide. No, I'm just kidding. Um, okay. So once it's there, after that, I also use a type of... It's, it's called an emulsion. I guess in Korea, in Japan, in, in Asia, this Laneige is a Korean brand. Um, when they say emulsion, it's like a, a lighter moisturizer. So I use this one. They have a, a different kind also. I forgot what it's called. Um, they call it, um, I forgot what it's called. But this is a little, it's a light, a light moisturizer. A little more watery than a regular moisturizer. And then you pat again. Oh. Cheeks are jiggling. This is the moisturizer. And your leftovers put it on your neck. And then after that, for my moisturizer, since I'm feeling super, super, super dry, this is one of the best ones. I love this. It's called the La Mer. Uh, moisturizing cream, creme de la mer. It's pretty pricey. There's a lot of other options you can have, but this one was a real splurge for me that I saved up for just to try it out. Well, I tried out the trial size and I loved it. It made a difference for me, so I lost the little spoon that goes with it, so I just have to put my finger. Oh no, what is that? A little thread. Okay, this is why they have the spoon. Okay, so there's not very much left. It's just a white, uh, a little pasty cream. And the trick to this is you don't just put it on your face directly. You have to rub it. Rub it between your palms or your fingers if you want your fingers. And then you just press on it. <laughs> You press on it. Oh, so satisfying. And um, the heat, like I said, it'll help absorb that moisturizer when your pores open up. Oh, and it smells so good. You could feel it um, totally moisturizing. Like when I wake up in the morning, my skin is so supple and soft and, and so 
smooth and refreshed. That's the most important part. It's just clean and refreshed. And for the last thing, Reina, could you get my lip balm, please? It's there in the medicine cabinet. And the last thing I do, of course, before you sleep, um, you know, my lips get so dry. It's talking to you. Yep. And she uses this. This is very effective for her. It's called the Laneige um, Lip Sleeping Mask. Okay? So oh, it comes like this, like a balm. Oh, it's so good. Just a little. And... And when you wake up in the morning, your lips are not as dry. Especially when we sleep, sometimes our mouths are open, it dries it up even more. Or the AC is on, or the heater is on, it just dries it up. So anyway, that's my um, nighttime skincare um, routine lately. I hope you enjoyed it, and maybe I'll uh, give a description of the things that I used, the products that I used, so that you know um, uh, what they were. Alright, thank you for watching. Hope you liked this video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. You're so awesome.